Shoot, we all say some some things we don't mean, right, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Made us stronger than ever. <laughs> What's the plan? What do you mean? You just, is that bag coming in here or no? Um, honestly, just like not really feeling it right now. Come Here's on. another one. Where yeah. did they get these people from? Nashville, Tennessee. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My dogs aren't petty to me, uh, so that's a petty argument for you, but not for but, me. Yeah, that's um, your perspective. The last thing I want is for I mean, he's standing up for himself. You never were like, oh, like, I'm leaving the house, the apartment, or anything like that. No. You know? Yeah. You only got eight weeks. Yeah, right. You only got eight weeks. Saying. Nobody has time for that. You got to fight. Every second count. You got to fight through it. Got to fight through it. She's not moving in that apartment. It's so easy to, like, check out, though. And yeah. I think that they're not really diving into the experience of doing the opposite of that i think they they're forgetting they're married i mean to her she's like yeah. you're a stranger still i just met you a couple of days ago i sell where you live i'm you know but it's like we're also married but i just feel like there's no compromise on your end and it's just it's like she has the face of someone realizing some things right now like she's like oh yeah I never asked him just to chill. To be perfect, like. I honestly felt like that's what you. It's like, did she ever ask him just to hang out and chill, maybe watch a movie like he would want to do? I expected you to want to do more. I expect. We're not still talking about not being adventurous on yeah. vacation. You think she's gonna be on roller coaster every day? Let's her take life? a sip for her, baby. Life is not adventure. Grab every that, day, grab you gotta go to work. Take a sip to that. She gotta try. Things out of you that. You might not want to do like it is exhausting. It's very you, me, energy as opposed to us. You're not gonna hate uh, it. No, it's it's not even that. What does she support him on? We struggled with that, yeah. like in the beginning, where I felt like when we first moved in, like you thought it was gonna be fairy tales and unicorns. I'm not sure why? Like I I didn't make a single complaint about you the entire trip. Got a point. I just can't right now, like... Because you know you're wrong. You was wrong. And then, like, no apartment and all these things just kind of combining for me. It's just, like... But look, it's, it's a lot right now. You mm -hmm. have to be patient. I'm not moving in. I'm going to go home and take a bath. I bet you are. I just seem so self-serving. Yeah. See, like, this type of energy, like, yeah. for her to say earlier, I don't want us to argue about it, I don't want us to fire her up, but it's like, the producer's asking, yeah. well, do you want to go home? She's like, uh, yeah. I mean, come on. Yeah. Oh, man, this is going to oh, be Oh, man. Oh. She's so nonchalant. No, she's... She They're like roommates. I decided not to move into the apartment. Which was three days ago. I'm big on positive vibes only. Like, I don't like to give energy to negative situations and the negative attitude, the lack of adventure. I feel like her, she's negative right now. Not energies. Those are not things that I need in my life. Dominique needs to start focusing on the positive things, that good qualities that he has. Oh, mm -hmm. Perfect timing. The man of the hour. Pastor Cal. You got some explaining to no, do. No, I don't. Uh-uh, you <laughs> Loosen out, sis. Right. Loosen out. No. Wait, she guys. said you have some explaining to do? Yeah, and he's like, no, you got some explaining to do. You guys are... <laughs> Cause Cal checked her real quick. I don't got nothing to explain. You got some to explain. Yeah. You ain't not moving in. <gasps> All right. God, it's so awkward. Like, as far as they can be on the couch. Yeah, do your posture. On the defense. Boys for battle. She's she... terrible. I'm Jamie, sorry. Jamie, that's me. Terrible. No. She just doesn't know how to effectively communicate. She's not into Even someone. Like there are things like on the top of his list that he asked for in a spouse that he didn't get. Okay. And then I also feel the same way. What's at the top of your list that you didn't get? Like, you know, piss Pastor Cal off, insult him. He's like, all right. I picked this. Like more positive, like more optimistic. You're probably not even getting to see him in his true state because you're constantly tearing him apart. Marrying a stranger isn't adventurous. 
He's ambitious in his own way. I'm gonna say that. I'm not condoning. I have to like sometimes get you. Huh. I have to like sometimes get you adventurous. But like, if we're talking adventure and, and sailing and riding horses and you know maybe once. I don't want to ride a horse either. But you know, coming into this, I did want somebody that was somewhat more extroverted, but like not somebody. I'm not so an adventurous like, person. I am. You are. <laughs> But I'm still, like he did, I'm still going to do things that I wouldn't necessarily pick out of a, you know, of a pool of options. So that's up there. Um, and then Dom is a dog person. She doesn't claim that she's like not a dog person, but I have different standards and stuff for my dogs. And you know, dogs in the bed was a deal breaker for me. That can be compromised. Do your dogs have to sleep in the bed? I mean, they don't have to. No. See, Dharma started out sleeping with me, and now she doesn't. Put a stop to that. You did, but she's happy. <laughs> she's got a heated Everybody, blanket. She's I got happy. Her, she has a heated bed. She does. Did you want marriage, or did you want marriage on your terms? Burn. Mm. Great question. That's why they're both speechless. I wanted marriage. She's like, uh, I wanted a I marriage I on my terms. That was a polar opposite of me. He is not a polar opposite to you. We're in agreement. Well, then you guys lied. Honestly, when we put you guys together, we had so much faith that this was going to be a good match. You both expressed that you wanted a certain amount of independence in your relationship. You didn't want a needy spouse. And Dominique, you need somebody who's going to be there for you, who's going to be a protector. Who's He's going not to a be protector, though. That's not nice. Faithful. You asked for an older, more mature man, somebody who's going to be a, a stable person that you can build a long-term life with. If she wasn't so judgmental, she could actually see that McKinley's a really nice guy and he's going to treat her really great. Just like yourself, who can grow with you and somebody who can accomplish things and build a family and just enjoy life together. Someone like her because he's going to she's going to ground him. Yeah. She's going to ground him. Why are you moving away from me? That's the problem when people are dating and why they become so unsuccessful in dating is because they're yeah. constantly going after what they want versus what they need. Right. But you know what? A little red flag for Dominique is when she keeps saying that her mom applied her for the for the show to get know. married. That's not that's not healthy. Place and like sign a lease, but you wanted to jump into a marriage, like yeah. But she does have no. a good point there. And Talk to him, Pastor Cap. People make decisions about their lives. People can do what they want to do. But they have a right to make those decisions. They do. Two people come together. Honey, it's 2023. There is no perfect mold. Anybody, anything's game. Together. She might be the reason why he stopped jumping, please. I know the man ain't broke. I felt judged by the basement thing. Man ain't broke. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor Cal. Pastor Cal was like, no, you're not going down like this. And I wouldn't have been less attracted to you. And I feel like that was your takeaway from the basement thing. It's just a turn off for me. Everything's a turn off for her. He's got his own definition of venture. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be an extreme thing, but making changes and being open to new ideas, maybe just, it's his Just because he's not out there in mud boots fishing. Two Play. bedrooms and a bathroom. Are you gonna let me talk, bro? Jeez Louise, I'm not talking over you. You're right. What would you do if I said bro? You're not 25. You wouldn't be saying I'm gonna try it. <laughs> I'd look at you like, you're not talking to your husband. Um, honestly, like, I'm just kind of over it. Uh, oh, what does that oh. Mean? Over what? What it. is she, it. it? What is it? What is she over? She's over it. Well, I need to know what it is, right? Like, come on. Every season, there's always one. Speak your mind, sis. Oh, come on. Wait a week to find out what it is. What is she over?